you saw what the you? you saw the graphics. My bad will. Okay, what it do? Like I, it's going. I, that was down. all types of official. What it do, y'all? I don't know who got the echo going. Is that me? Somebody, somebody got the echo. Somebody it's, got the echo. Uh, but what up, y'all? Man, welcome to the first official stream of All Deaf Gaming. Uh, this is this is exciting, man. We are the Arcade Tokens. If you don't know, I am Patrick Cloud. Go ahead and introduce yourself, guys. I go by the name of Cleo Thomas, aka Mr. Slick Living, who about to dip off and get some headphones really quick. I'll be right back. You take care of him, Will. And I am the anomaly, Will Pharaoh. Let's go. Welcome to All Deaf Gaming, the newest platform in the All Deaf family. Y'all about to see a lot of, whole lot of gaming shit going on on this channel. We are excited. As we said, we are the Arcade Tokens. As you can see, we are the Arcade Tokens. I'm, I'm on the beach. I was just eating fried chicken on the beach and I'm about to play some video games. Yeah. So here we are live and direct, man. Uh, How listen, are you supposed to do a quarantine? This is the first uh, time hey, you guys will be seeing us on the channel, but there's so much be. more coming. Uh, we're, we're gearing up to get ready to play a game that just released today. All right. Now, if you're into horror games, you may be familiar with Resident Evil. It was just released today, Resident Evil 3, the remake. Nemesis is out. He's in HD, and we got to figure out how to get out of Raccoon City together as a unit. Now, I know you guys may think, you know, how are you guys going to play this game together? Well, that's what the arcade tokens do. We're literally going to be able to pass the remote controller from one another, and we're not even in the same room. Nope. Mm -hmm. You're gonna be able. To, if I die, you know how you, you remember when you, you guys play, you know, your game, your video games with friends, right? When you yep. die, you got to give up the sticks, and then the that's next the person has to try. We're gonna be able to do that today, and you guys are gonna get a chance to see how we do it. So, without further ado, guys, ladies and gentlemen, let's jump into Resident Evil Three, Raccoon City. Here yes, it is. Dude. I gotta turn down the, the lights, don't you think? Everyone's gotta be. That's working. what I was saying. Like yeah. I got it all dark in here. All right, let's 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 let me get y'all right. big tripping. Right. I need get to right. get off the beach. So uh, you know this this is uh this is some new stuff, and this is it's crazy that we can still do stuff like this in a quarantine all by our when we're when we're isolated. We could still kind of have this sort of like you trash fam gameplay. You know what I'm saying? That's. That kind of stuff is this is new this is new age right here and this is the kind of stuff you're gonna see on all deaf gaming so make sure you go over there and subscribe asap mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. the cdc has quarantined the lower midwestern region of the usa very similar to what's going on now right hey they got a company using that umbrella logo too in real life you know what there is a uh there is a, a company in china that is supposedly leaked the virus that has a very similar uh, logo. Obviously, conspiracy theorists like myself went crazy uh, when we saw that. But you know, <laughs> we're just here. We're just here to talk about you know Resident Evil and zombies and stuff. Let's let's not think about the actual apocalypse that's happening right now. Literally, at any moment, they could just kick in our doors, and one of us live right here on stream could just get eaten alive due to the zombie apocalypse. <laughs> it could happen. You it could happen. Cool. I'm on the beach. <laughs> you go get it. You are way over there in Barbados. Yeah. Oh <laughs> Don't know zombies come over here. That's downtown LA, guys. I just realized that. Look, that's downtown LA. I mean, the graphic upgrade is guys, insane. That's, 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 that's downtown LA. That's really well, terrifying. We know who's getting out first. We know who's not getting out first. Are they saying oh. Raccoon City is in, the, is in LA? Or are they saying that the Umbrella Corporation is in LA? Is Raccoon City based off of LA? The same way Gotham City is based off of New York. We've never talked about this. That's wild. That That's would be messed up. What? I mean, if anything, they treat in LA like Raccoon City, like a motherfucker. <laughs> oh, true story. Let me share this with you guys. Let me tell you what just happened to me an hour ago. Uh -oh. Now we've all been quarantined. We've all supposed to be staying inside, right? But I need some supplies. I need some food. I need some drink. So I walked down to the store. Now, usually there's a Ralph's about two blocks from my house. So I was gonna walk to the Ralph's. Okay. I see police out and I see yellow tape. I'm like, oh, damn, did someone get, you know, murked or like, what's going on? Yeah. So now I can't go in the Ralph's. So I gotta go to the other uh, store across the street, which is a Rite Aid. I go into the Rite Aid and all of a sudden I hear boom. I feel a shake. I hear car alarms. 
the two people behind the um the desk or the behind the checkout run outside. Turns out someone put a bomb in the chase. A what? The a bank? Bomb. Yes, the Chase Bank had a bomb in it. Are you serious? Yes, yes, that just happened. And uh, look, I didn't want no parts of it. So I got what I needed out of my store and I walked my ass right back to my crib, locked wow. my door because already stuff is cracking. Oh, wait, Jill Valentine, she's bleeding from the nose. She has the Corona. Oh no, she caught Corona. She got the Rona. Hey. My, my, my Corona. <laughs> I the Rona. I, 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 I. Boo, do, 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 do. Do, 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 oh, that's do, it for Jill. Do, 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 that's do, it for do, Jill. Do. She's giving it up, fellas. She's giving it. Oh, look at her skin. Oh, no. What the hell? No. Wait, she dead already? I thought this was the start of the game. The game she got just... eczema. She got what? She got what, Pat? That's eczema. <laughs> she got eczema. You gonna take herself out? No, 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 no. So, no, 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 no. Oh. Oof. Oof. That is the beginning See? of the game. Should have worn a mask, Jill. Should have worn a mask. Should okay. A Pat, mask. do you have a mask? I do have a mask. You want to check it out? I do. Will, do you have a mask? Uh, Nah, I'm using that uh Jiminy shirt we got uh when we went to the Will Smith screen for uh, for Jiminy Man. Jiminy? Jiminy? What? For Jiminy Man. You know, he was fighting himself. Oh, G Gemini Man. Yeah, that's what I said. Okay. All right. My man Pat, he's come through with the proper uh, face equipment. I see. You him. ain't supposed to have that mask, Pat. Why can't he have that mask? That's supposed to be for hospital people and uh, essential people. You supposed to go get the essential door. people. You said it yourself. <laughs> <laughs> when the end of the world breaks out, there's only going to be a couple people on this earth who we're going to need to keep everyone entertained, everyone calm, and one of those people, Patrick Cloud. Hey Ladies man, gentlemen. are you playing? I gotta laugh when everything goes to shit. You know what I mean? I'm not gonna be the nigga to hunt. Probably not gonna be the nigga to protect. Uh, probably not gonna be the nigga to guard. Uh, probably not gonna be the nigga to farm. Probably not gonna be the nigga to keep any valuables. Probably not gonna be the treasurer. Probably not gonna be the secretary. Probably not gonna. Yeah, if, I feel like I would be. Yeah, I would. I'll just keep everybody in good spirits. Essentials. Essentials. Can we look at what's in Jill's uh, refrigerator really quick? As far as speaking of essentials, we have. Does that say raccoon milk? That just sounds horrible. If anybody That's... has raccoon milk, it's Jill. I'm seeing some blue moons. Uh, uh huh. Maybe got some kombucha. Some, some hard ciders. For uh, sure. Probably some avocado toast. Yep. Gross. A lot of low fat mayo, margarines. Ew. You got some, some red margarine. wine in there for them hard nights. Being single, cause she trying to move up in the organization of raccoon police. Hey, raccoon ain't police nobody department. more single than a damn raccoon city detective. They come home smelling like zombie. Fuck ew. all that. Ew. What the ew, hell? ew. Yo, I gotta ask y'all something. Here's what if, it. You know, who do y'all think top five people, like if the shit just went loose, who getting saved outside of political? Like who you think they gonna be like, we gotta go get them and make sure they survive all of this. All right. Outside of political. Uh, damn, you said outside of political. Okay, yeah, okay, okay. Like, you like, yo, we got to make sure we protect this person. Who mm -hmm. we protect? Because uh, first person that comes to mind is Barack Obama. Obama. Yep, See? Obama. First, but he said not political. I mean, we'll yeah, but I mean, I, I just wanted to be said. Yeah, <laughs> agreed. Obama, Michelle Obama, said. and the two daughters are for sure safety. They gotta be put in safety. Okay. But um, non non political, like whatsoever. Yeah. Okay. I gotta go with the Rock. Yep. The Rock. Good the call. Rock be, the Rock. Ain't be, nobody be worried about protecting the Rock. The I Rock's am. good. I am. You gotta protect the Rock. Protect the Rock. Has the Rock ever needed protection? Hey, look. Listen. Protect the Rock at all costs. How do the you? I can have my seat on the helicopter. You're like, How do you protect the you rock? You gotta protect the rock. That's what I'm about them. to protect the rock. What you gonna stand in front of him? Like, I got it. Like, no. <laughs> no, you don't. The I rock is it. huge, man. He's huge. Let me tell you, he's huge. His cousin, who's his stunt double, huge. The whole family is just huge. Damn. All right, so. Oh! oh okay. She just. Did Nemesis pull up to her crib? 
First of all, I, I don't like how Yo. all these big monsters just be beating women in this resident. They do not care. They do like, not care. Like, yo, no care at all. Wow. He trying, she trying, oh man, she okay. is letting off. That, I mean, if you can't take, if you could take that many point blank hits to the, the forehead, then you, you, what are you supposed to do? No, oh yeah, that front door. door. Like, that's like, gonna what help. was the door gonna do? That's what I'm. Gonna do. Wow. Okay, I am now in control, and this guy is. Oh, he threw a whole cinder block. Ooh, the cinematics. Okay, we gotta go. We gotta go. We gotta go. The front door was over there. Why are we stopped, sweetheart? What are you doing? She she's knocking things down like this is gonna help. Okay. Anything? Nope. Nope. All right, we out the window. Let's go. Get out the window. We gotta go. Um. Can I keep going or going? I wouldn't. I wouldn't get back in the building. Yeah, you you, you should just. Okay, there's things on fire. Oh, okay. This guy does not care about architecture. Nemesis oh, just yeah. came in here like the Hulk, like just bro. Oh, ew, ew, bro, wow. bro, put that away. Oh, got her. Get it. Put it up. Slice. Oh, that's not even Nemesis, is it? That's Nemesis. That's for sure Nemesis. Nemesis then got cut up. He been hitting the gym. Let's go. Right? <laughs> no, that's the PS4. That's the PS4 graphics, man. Right? He didn't Not drop body fat. He even got a little cut on him. Nobody those, could be uh, cut back then. The for those who man. don't know, just to give you guys a quick rundown on what this is. This is Resident Evil 3 Remake, okay? The first Resident Evil 3 came out on the very first PlayStation. Oh my, oh my God. PS1, and this dude is, here's a remake, updated graphics. Uh, they've added some new elements to the video game, so it's not where it's not the exact same as the first one, but Nemesis looks scary. We gotta go. It's way scarier. Yo! Oh, damn. Yo! Yo, he's by these, yo. Wow. Come on. Come on, Jill. Wow. Run! He runs like a damn substitute teacher. <laughs> God. That was ass. Yo. How you even make it to the third game and you run like... <laughs> Oh, zombies. zombies. That leg about to give out on her. So we've made it to the streets of Raccoon City. Exactly, Jill. What the F? First objective everybody is to just, get out of town. Everybody just running around for no reason. You okay? What was that thing? Him if I know. But right now it's got a hard on for the only two stars left in town. You and me. I'm not sticking around. It looks good though. Look around you. I right, love how a, more and more people are starting to realize that games have become good. like movies, bro. Like we look at what God of War is, we look at what uh, Spider-Man has be was, and now this. People, I just saw in the chat box, people are like, "Yo, th is this a movie?" People don't know, man. People really aren't up to date on like how graphics, how far it's come in video games. It's insane. There's like, I feel like horror games. It's just a different game when they get remastered, because then it's just like, damn, like this is way scarier than I could have even imagined it. So well, this is Los Angeles. <laughs> okay, look at the movie posters. Um, our, let's see, Disaster. I'm not sure. That looks like Aliens. Mars, something off duty. I don't know what that is. Bad Luck game. That seems like Saw. And then Air Combat 1942. That don't remind you of Top Gun? Like that looks like Tom Cruise. That does look like Tom Cruise. That's on the far like, right? Yeah, it looks like yeah. Tom Cruise. Okay, here we go. The logo I should have known. Umbrella Corporation. These sons of... We're on the move? Yo, at, th at this point, though, it's like you want to just get out. Mm-mm. Oof. Oof. Got to go. Nah. Why? Go. Why? What? what? What are you trying to see? You ain't gonna live to upload the video. We gotta go. Right? Oh, so right yeah. now, Cleo is playing as Jill Valentine's uh, for everybody that is also wondering. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> he just threw a little uh, to-go sign at him. <laughs> a restaurant sign at them, bro. Like, yo, that's like, oh! That's oh, it. he's done. done. That's he's it, done. he got I bit. I stabbed him. Done stabbed done. him while you at it. You All know, right. I saw this really, really good tweet that said, uh, People who are ignoring quarantine and going outside are the same type of people who would hide a zombie bite in the apocalypse. You know how like in every zombie movie, there's that nigga who tries to hide his bite and he's like, no, nah, man, it's good, it's good. It was, you know, that, that was their blood. And then they just 
go turn into a zombie and kill somebody else. Yes. That's the people who are ignoring quarantine right now. So let's have the conversation, fellas. One of us gets bit. You're dead. That's it? Yeah, what the hell? No question. Pat, I get no bit. Question. Pat, I get bit. You put, you putting a bullet in me? I am shooting you in the face, Cleo. All but right. Here's the, I'll be fair. I'll be fair. I'll wait until you turn into zombie Cleo. All right, respect. Will? You get bit, you dead already. So why wait? That's what I'm saying. You just get it over with? Ooh, you just died. As soon as you got bit. You guys always ask that question like, well, family members, like, could you do it? It's like, it's not them. I don't, I never, I right. never connected to that part of the zombie movies where they were keeping their zombie daughter chained up in the, in the, oh, in their right. room. Like, no, it's still Marissa. It's like, no, it's not. She tries to kill you every chance she gets. Get off me. <laughs> the minute oh. you got bit, I'm gonna give you a hug, tell oh. you I love you and then take you out. Woo! Ooh, Jill I'm, should be a damn running back. Can I get back? Yo, where am I supposed to go? No, Someone around help. The corner, around the corner. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Here? I just came from here. You well, I mean, it's, it's looking like the best right option. Me. There's nothing over here, guys. I am screwed. They're going to get me. Well, they're about to get you anyway. Get off me! Oh! No. You, That's it. That's all I would have took. But remember, she might have a... Oh, I dipped. Okay, guys, look. Where am I supposed to go? I tried to get on the bus because that reminds me of the old school game. Right in the beginning, you're supposed to get on. Oh, oh, great, great. Yeah, you just had to press forward, Cleo. <sighs> SMH. These are Last of Us Excuse rules. Me. All right, I love so the juking, though. A big thing that was added to this game, <laughs> ladies and gentlemen, is the dodge, uh, the dodge mechanic. That was not in the Resident Evil 2 remake, but in Resident Evil 3, they did add it. It is R1. It's amazing. <laughs> yeah. Remember, it's R1 to dodge. Anyone who played Days Gone know how knows how amazing dodging is in zombie games. Yes, it is. Because, I mean, that can just get you, and it looks dope. And uh, shout out to the gaming squad for uh, being in the comments, writing RIP to apparently all the people who would not make it in the zombie apocalypse. <laughs> <laughs> apparently, Drake is not going to make it. Drake's uh, done. Drake might be good. Drake might be good. He got a whole compound. And that camp, <laughs> exactly. And that spot Drake's in, for sure he's good. For some, for some reason, it's R.I.P. Drake and Lil Baby. They are not making it in the zombie apocalypse. <laughs> what Lil Baby do? I don't know. Apparently nothing. That's why he didn't make it. Let's reload the clip. All right, for sure. So for all of the gamer, uh, ga like gaming fans at All Def, um, we just want to let you know that there is a whole channel. It's called All Deaf Gaming that we're starting, yes. and it's going to be a bunch of stuff. This is one of the things we're going to be doing every Friday. We're going to be doing a Let's Play uh, where we, mm. we'll, we'll be playing mm. a, a title and passing the sticks back and forth virtually. We're also going to be doing an Arcade Tokens podcast live every Monday on the channel, and uh, yep. we'll be doing other stuff like trivia. We'll be doing uh, what's some of the stuff? We'll be doing some debates. Yep. Uh, uh, two games, the games that, uh, um, games that define you. That's a great one. Yes. That's where we just discuss some of the games that we used to play and, you know, kind of just like that nostalgic feel. Uh, we just did an episode on arcade tokens and we were talking about everything from Metal Gear to Banjo Kazooie. It was good, good times. Good times. Good All that times. is available. And, uh, yeah, make sure you guys go to subscribe to All Def Gaming. And uh, check us out on the All Def Con tomorrow too. We uh, we doing a fully digital conference, uh, and it's it's happening all day tomorrow, starting at 9 a.m. PST. It's going all the way to like 6 p.m., 7 p.m. West Coast. So uh, check us out. Check really us out for tomorrow's merch Def Con. Tomorrow we got a bunch merch of merch tomorrow. Oh yeah, there's gonna be booths for merch. Uh, all of us have our our booths there. Cleo, you got uh, Slick living there. Sig Living is going to be there, of course. Absolutely. Protect Your Light will be there. We Protect are Feral will, be, will there. be there. All Young Def Pharaoh. merch will be there. It's exclusive merch. It's going to be a lot of fun, man. It's going to be a lot of great insight. Um, you know, being able to, I feel people will be able to connect with everyone at All Def. Uh, the fact that it's back at the forefront where it deserves to be. If I, oh. Yikes. You want Jill to tune in tomorrow. Through it. Jill is going through it. Jill, Jill needs some weed. Jill don't got the back for a lot of these injuries. Oh, and here he come. Just get your ass out the car. This is the most stressful open in five minutes of Resident Evil I've right. seen in a minute. And Leon the credits Kennedy. credits even started. Right. <laughs> Anytime you're Leon, it's usually leisure setup. You're usually driving for most of it. You know, reflecting a lot of voiceover. She was thrown right into Nemesis' hand. Trick this. Oh, is he gonna lift the car? Oh, wow. Okay. Did, did, did she think that this was was gonna help? Get him off you! Get him off you, girl! Get him off you! 
Get him off you. You don't like being choked. Tell him you ain't into that type of stuff. Oh, snap. <laughs> <laughs> Apparently, Doughboy not making it in the zombie apocalypse. They said Doughboy's not yeah. making it. Kev on stage ain't making it. I'm like, yo, come on. What? Hey, to hear it, Meg ain't making it. Nah, I'm, so the I think I, I think I do making right. it. We, I'm, I'm, I'm making make it. Oh, if anything, yeah. I'm, I started working out because if anything can make me work out, it's the end of the freaking world. You said your dreads ain't making it though, Pat. The dreads. That's cool. Coming. I wouldn't mind being bald if it was the apocalypse. Would you? Would you go bald if the apocalypse came? If no. it became like Book of Eli level, yeah. Okay. All right. This I'm is a if flaming cold, nemesis. I want to keep this. If it gets cold. Oh yeah. If it go. If it goes the snow route. Oh, yeah. there go the the grill. That disgusting grill. That oh. Was, oh my god. He caught a rocket. This is what the coronavirus would look like if it was a person. Yeah. This is literally a walking Ooh. national emergency. He took the RPG to the chest. He ate, he and ate he a just, missile to the face. Kinda just, he just kind of took a knee after that, too. That was it. So he started praying. Let's get you someplace safe. <clears throat> All right, so not it, it didn't take too long to get introduced to a new character, Carlos. He is in the original game, uh, but they said that they, they did do some uh, remake and uh, reimagining to his overall story in this game. So I'm really curious yeah. to figure that out. Kadeem, can we transfer it over to Will or Pat? Let's transfer it to Pat, man. Let's transfer it. So guys, this is something that's going to be exclusive right here on All Dev Gaming. You're not going to see this anywhere else. Where I am here at my house. Okay, here's my remote controller. I am getting ready to pass the game along to Will or Pat to then pick up where I left off to continue playing. You're only going to get this level of gaming exclusively right here at All Def Gaming. Good Lord, this is so cool. Oh, man, I can't believe that this is happening. All right. Right? So. We're not even in the same room, brother. But you, <laughs> you can pick up where I was playing. All right. So he is going to, uh, over the, the magic that is the internet, uh, he is going to transfer the gameplay over to me bring all that negativity into my space mm -hmm. uh <laughs> mm -hmm. all this uh i mean just resident evil can we talk about it resident evil games is just a very high level of negativity yeah like it doesn't it's think just, positive about this no one really what? goes to sleep in a better mood after playing resident evil it just no. invites a lot of horrible horrible thoughts into your mind and, and scenarios listen, listen y'all have to think about the the the, the silver <laughs> lining of how this came about, though, of Resident Evil. Explain. Oh, so y'all didn't know Resident Evil was made by two 16-year-olds. The game? The, yeah, it was the idea that they wrote. It was the, they, they came up with the Umbrella Corporation, and then they started writing a story called Resident go. Evil. They showed it to their mom, and then their mom showed it to, you know, whatever white man had the privilege to show this to somebody with money. Mm. And then the rest is history. Two 16 year olds gave us all the Resident Evil knowledge. Listen, all right, I just got the it. Umbrella Corporation goes down in history as one of the most evil, diabolical uh, uh, companies in all of history of not only gaming, but I want to say the real world as well. Because if nah, you that, nah, there's only one more company that takes the cake besides Shinra. You. Nope. <laughs> nope. <laughs> not even that. The people that make candy corn. Okay. You diabolical right. bitches. Come on now. You deserted motherfuckers. Come on now. Those are some evil people. Whoever made them and keep putting them out. Listen, man. Let me just tell you something. I don't mind candy corn. I don't see the big deal. Yeah, I'm in the uh I'm in the lobby right now. I, I don't see the big uh, deal. Okay, switch to share. Oh, I got it. All right. So I have taken the reins. Show the controller so they know it's real. Here's this my remote. Is, uh, this Wait, is the controller. I do not own this game. This is all coming from uh, Zordon's PlayStation in the middle of the uh, hills of Tibet or wherever he is. He's in Arcadia <laughs> right now. Um, but yes, I uh, damn, I'm I'm playing now. This is insane. Show him. Cool. Show him, Pat. Oh, it's a movie scene. You can't show him right now. But as you, as soon as he starts moving, y'all gonna see. I'm not. Look, go ahead, pull it up. Look, I ain't moving. I'm not Ooh, moving. This is hard. I wish I uh, learned how to play real quick, so y'all just gonna have to. Okay. Bear with him. Bear with him. I have a Brazilian-looking nigga. To... Where did this nigga come from? 
he was the one that shot that missile in Nemesis. Oh, face. that's right. That's right. Yes. So I mean, the apocalypse just happened. His haircut makes no sense. But I guess Absolutely. I'm one, I'm, I'm no one to sense. talk. I am one to talk. Now I got a question. So we're going to round this off. This is crazy, uh, guys. Here's the question. How are they going to go? List off names. And you got to tell me, how are they going to die in the zombie apocalypse? Who's going to die? Like Any, me? Whoever I name out. Whoever I name out, you have to tell me, how are they going to die in the zombie apocalypse? OK, Great. let's do this. Let's do Fantastic. this. Fantastic. To here. To here would be eating. See, here would be eating at an Ono's Hawaiian barbecue. Okay. All of a sudden, he would get so lost in in the in the the teriyaki chicken and the Kobe beef ribs and the and the cold ass mac and cheese, and he'd be in the back of the kitchen eating it, just going ham. And all of a sudden, he's gonna turn around with that black to go container, and notice there's seven of them things. Okay. Ready to eat him. That's how that's how Tahir's gone. I picture him kind of being in a men's warehouse, uh, like getting a fitting for a suit, and he he wasn't aware of the uh, the apocalypse because he didn't get a newspaper with his morning cigar and uh, and ham and eggs or whatever he eats in the morning, so he didn't get to read his newspaper. So he just went to the suit store at men's warehouse. And the the owner of the store was a zombie, but the, he was still walking around in a suit. So Tahir was kind of in the the dressing room trying on new cufflinks or something like that, and he mm. just heard, rrr, rrr, rrr. and that's kind of how Tahir talks. So he understands that. So he'd be <laughs> like, he'd be like, what? What are you talking about? I thought it was on sale. And then he'd hear the door kind of rattle, and he'd be like, oh my god, he's trying to come in here and get my goodies. And then the door opens. It's the it's the zombie, and he tries to bite Tahir on the neck, but. You kind of know what the deal is with that. He don't yeah. got a neck, so he's no. kind of like armor. Oh. It's like ching, 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 ching. He's like ha 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 ha, and he kind of roll runs through his legs, and then he probably like trips on the little thing that you measure yourself with the the tailor, the little um the little <laughs> measuring, <laughs> measuring tape, <laughs> and then uh yeah all the all the uh, all the tailors. I feel like he'd get eaten by a group uh, like a gang of tailors. You threw out there that his neck. Was non-existent. Yeah, we talk about it all the time. If there was vampires, he'd he'd live the longest. They'd be like, <laughs> vampires don't bite ears. Yeah, I've never oh. seen them. They he'd probably have to like I don't know. They probably have to bite a thigh, and you know, no no, no vampires going near that thigh. Mm -mm. So mm -mm. I'm telling you, a lot of a lot of these guys are vampire and zombie proof. Yeah, even in death, ain't nobody bite, biting Doughboy or Kev on the thigh. I, uh, I'm picturing him going out easy, man. He got his headphones on, listening to some kind of old, old school on the computer, looking up lace front teeth, you know, just to get them extended. And lace just front? Don't see it covered. Just, you just don't see it covered. And then, you know, they bite through the door he got on, and then it's just, it's, it's open city. Okay. Yeah, that was it. You know, it, 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 quick and easy. Quick and All easy. Right. All right. Not bad. All right. Uh, let's see. Kev, uh, Craig Smith. Craig Smith. Craig How Smith. How did he die? Craig Smith. He'd be uh, mid joke. He'd be mid joke for sure. <laughs> mid joke. <laughs> He'd be looking at a room of people and just just firing off, flaming everyone up. You know, going on his rant, and next thing you know. He'd look down at his ankle and just be like, you just gonna bite me on the ankle? I just got up here. I can see that. I can Mid, see that. He would just get lost in his world of firing on people. He get That's his thing. It's just a fire on people. And he get bit right in the Achilles. You know what I mean? So he can't walk much. That's it. Done deal. <laughs> nah, I feel like I feel like he'd be like, no, nah, I can't keep these bitches off me. And then he'd die. <laughs> <laughs> that's Zordon, ladies and gentlemen. For those you know, hearing the voice, that's the voice yeah. behind the game, the game master himself, Zordon. Zordon. Games. Zordon. That's funny. You Craig got the herb. Pat, oh, how's Craig Smith herb. going out? I feel like Craig Smith, like, I in my okay, in my head, Craig Smith lives under a like you know those like little mini societies under bridges. 
that just like all hobos, <laughs> like hobos and shit be living at. And it's like, for some reason, all the trash cans are on fire for warmth. I always picture Craig Smith living in like one of those societies. So I always figured like those people would be the first to go in a zombie apocalypse because he'd probably get caught slipping. He'd probably be doing his like Tuesday morning can crushing out back next to the dumpster. You know what I mean? Where he crushes all his, his soda cans and just all the stuff that somebody like Craig Smith might do. Uh, and then I think that's when all the, there's no, there's no shielding. There's no, there's no big walls. There's no high walls. So I feel like that's when a horde of, um, of zombies would come and would eventually be his demise. Now, I feel like those, a lot of those people have hands. They would fend off the, the zombies with monkey wrenches and big chains and brass knuckles and carburetors <laughs> and, and, and half burnt cigarettes or whatever they use. All of a sudden it's the weapon. Warriors movie, Pat? Well, I mean, I feel like they got, they got like old school fighting techniques. Like I feel like they got like two by fours with nails in it or like a bat, like a modified bat Back. Just like those 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 kind of fighters, torches, pitchforks. Uh, but eventually, like, I feel like Craig would just get bit and he'd just be like, oh, God damn it. Or say something stupid as his last word, last words or something <laughs> like that. <laughs> give a final row story now. <laughs> probably make a fat joke, just like, ah, oh, if you got bit, you get high blood pressure. Some shit like that. Just five <laughs> cents to, oh, and then five just cents to Doughboy, and then he just dies. <laughs> oh, oh man. Give zombies right. high blood pressure, nigga. I, I, don't, I, don't think, I don't think Craig going out, man. I think Craig, Craig surviving. I think Craig go, uh, ah, Craig go turn me. Like, oh, well, that's not gonna happen to Craig. I think Craig gonna become the leader of a cult mm. that just does weird shit. Mm. Like, I just picture Craig like on a, a rooftop in Los Angeles, just lifting weights. Surrounded by zombies, not giving a fuck. And just, he does seem like the big black dude in a zombie horde or a zombie uh, survival camp. <laughs> yeah, I feel, I feel like Craig is waiting for this. Like if, if this, I feel like if everybody knew this was happening, Craig would be the only one just like. Oh, this. I'm off. <laughs> or once a dip. Back up. Or once a dip. I did a backup like I was trying to square up with him. No, this, dip, that's, yink. That is creepy. That is a creepy scene. Oh. Right ah, I right, no. Um, Get Kevin off of me. Sage. Oh man, I don't know on this one, Pat. I'm gonna leave that Kev, one to you. Kevin on stage is gonna die doing something dumb for somebody else. That's how I feel like he's gonna. Wow. He, he gonna go trying to save some fat, some fat dude like Doughboy. <laughs> he's, <laughs> like, he's probably gonna feel responsible for somebody and be like, he, and like turn around after they fail and be like, come on. See, I told you not to eat those chips and like helping them up or something like that or trying to push him up a ladder and then they, they just go and get him. They just go and get him and, and the, the angels are going to sing Kirk Franklin. It's going to be a really sad day for Earth. Oh, but it's either that or um, the zombies are going to make him run in any type of way possible. It's going to be one of those two things, either going to be completely noble and, and amazing or it's gonna be incredibly embarrassing. He's probably gonna run half a block and get winded. <laughs> half a block. Just, and then he's just gonna be like, man, just take me. Just take me. <laughs> Kevin got man, no type of stamina, brother. Come on now. He didn't he he did not exercise when his life was not dependent, and now his life is dependent on it, and he's still not exercising. So what you think? Man, I think his family gonna push him in a zombie horde. That's right. His fam gonna throw him to the wolves? Like, That's like, not look, okay. Oh. I, <laughs> like, I think they just gonna be like, look, man, you know what this is. Kev gonna know oh, it too. Like, Kev won't be mad at him. He gonna be like, I get it. <laughs> I'm only holding y'all back. Okay, 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 okay. What song is Kev singing as the zombies are less than four feet away? What church? Gospel record will Kevin. And all my people say stomp. Uh, And all my people say stomp. Uh, I promise the stomp, (laughs) the whole stomp, nothing but the stomp. Oh, damn. I always wanted Kirk. I always wanted Kirk Franklin to just throw in one cuss word, just to right, throw yeah, off bro, the whole song, right, no. just in the ad lib. If it was like nothing but the stomp, he just threw in a oh shit, shit. <laughs> and 
all my people say. Like, wait a minute. And everybody was like, yo, what? I thought it would just be amazing. Just to throw it, because it, it was it's just so soulful. You almost want to hear it. Just like, oh, god damn it now. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> I always thought that oh, would be just an interesting touch. Man. He'd be ruined forever, but. <laughs> oh. All right, I, no. think we can, I think we can do one more. Let's go with Doughboy. How's Doughboy die? <sighs> Doughboy. Doughboy going out swinging. I know that much. Doughboy going to swing. He not just going to accept and all of a sudden getting bit up. He going to try to swing. He can't run. We know oh. he didn't got the lungs for that. Oh, someone on me? Oh, stop. and he, you know, oh. that's that's a lot of weight on them shoulders for him to be trying to dip, bro. So if he gonna fight. Uh. Now I don't know about him fighting Nemesis or fighting these zombies that's biting up Jill's neck right now. Man, who he fighting? Doughboy fighting nobody. What? You know, what's, you know what's gonna happen to Doughboy? Doughboy gonna get bit and don't know it. The no whole boy time. is one hundred percent hiding his his zombie bite. I For sure one hundred percent sure he is going to get bit, and he's just gonna look around and be like, "No, it wasn't me. It was them." No, nah. no, no. I'm good. Nah, I'm good. Nah. What you mean? No, no, no. I'm good. Or whatever he does. Nah. Nah. Oh man, but no. That's no. What, that's what I picture. I picture him no. like trying to help somebody get some stuff off and trying to get out, but got bit and didn't know he got bit. Jesus. Okay, it's time to pull that that ham and cheese sandwich out. So here we go. Jill Valentine is still in Raccoon oh, City. Shoot. There's oh, zombies shoot. Oh, shoot. everywhere. <laughs> Hit that all yeah. one. Uh, I, I am pressing all one. Her her juke say. Hey. At Wait. this point, I don't even know what she's doing. Like I don't. I'm trying to figure doing. out how to talk and follow this storyline at the same time. Cause not an easy working. task, not an easy task, but all you know is you have to escape Raccoon City. And escape this looks- these roles. This looks very familiar to what we played in the this demo. This is it. Nice, Ooh. nice juke. Go ahead now, right. Pat. Hit him with the Antonio Brown, go for it. Well, eh. wrong person to use. Yeah. Mm. Poor yeah. Jim's crabs, sounds pretty good. <laughs> oh my God, I would love some crab legs right now. Hey, Person nice little use. crab boil. Shout Man. out to everybody in the chat. Make sure y'all are following All Def, but you go over to All Def Gaming because these Ooh, are the type of content you're going to see coming up on the new channel of All Def Gaming. So make sure y'all go there, subscribe to the channel. We're going to be on there Mondays, uh, Fridays, and Saturdays coming out with some dope stuff and probably even more things. So make sure you follow All Def Gaming and follow the arcade tokens arcade tokens youtube the arcade tokens social media page we do all of this stuff man make We're sure so awesome it's not even funny yeah it's so awesome it's so, it's so awesome oh my God. are you are you shooting at him pat shoot him in the head oh oh shoot him in the head pat oh okay pat, shoot him in the balls right, come on shoot, shoot him in the balls ball shot ball ah, shot it's, nothing it's, there he has no <laughs> balls guys he has no <laughs> balls Zombie crab box. legs. Are you guys actually a fan of crab legs? Because some people feel like it's too much work to eat that. Crab legs ah. are great. Crab, Thank you. especially if they're spicy. Come on oh. now. Oh man! And I got play. You been to the boy. shrimp lover in LA? The shrimp lover? Yes. No. What is that? There's this Sounds little. Like I'm a shrimp this, lover. There's this little spot off of Melrose and Western called the shrimp lover, but their crab legs, they season them with everything you could think of. Best crab legs I've had. Really? Hands down. Hands down. Hands down. Where did the phrase hands down come from? Uh, maybe because it's like, yo, raise your hand if this. Raise your hand oh! if that. Yeah, but like, oh, I see what you yeah. mean. Like, everybody put your hands down because this is the damn. This there is the you choice. go. In confidence. You say it in confidence. Put your hands. Put your goddamn hands down. Okay. I don't know why I always pictured people putting their hands down on the table. That's what I, I picture, too, when they go there. It's like, Ooh, hands the ammo. down, the best. You gotta get that shoddy. Oh, I can't wait for you to get the shoddy. Where is it at? This is I have all no, it's, the... it's probably not in here, but I'm just saying when the shotgun oh. has, oh, bust at him. Don't point at me. Bust him right in the forehead. Bah. Hey, bah. six feet. This is coronavirus. I said bah. six feet. My six man has feet. a whole Metro vest on. Woo. That man was at work when this happened. I said six feet. That'd be like the worst thing to do. Like, die. I know, right? Why you at work? If any, if there was any other way to die, you'd probably prefer it. Well. I don't know if I'm mid, if I'm Ooh. mid, if I'm mid having, you know, a stroke moment. What kind or, of stroke? 
you know exactly what stroke I'm talking about. Okay. Yeah, I'm if I'm that, and all of a sudden a zombie just adds itself into the situation, I'm pissed. Are you finishing? Pissed. <laughs> let me, so let's ask this question. You Am I finishing? Yes or no? You finishing? Yes or no? <laughs> That's the question. <laughs> zombie busts in while you getting some butt. Let's ask the chat. <laughs> How let's close? You, let's How close are you? The chat. Are you, you exactly. I would say you close. Like you at least enough to where it's like, all right. Are, are these World War Z zombies or Resident Evil zombies? Let's go Resident think, Evil. So Resident okay, Evil. Okay, I think I can finish before the Resident Evil zombie pulls up. <laughs> I can get mine off for sure. I can get one off. But if the World War Z <laughs> zombies pull up and get me, hit me with the full. Oh, I'm dead already. Ray I'm not Lewis tackle up out of up out of the situation. Oh, if you no. can if you can consistently run in a full on sprint and you're not worried about getting tired, you'll probably get me eventually. <laughs> I don't know how Brad Pitt was getting away to be honest. I do, bro, like I don't either. Like the the way I was seeing these zombies run, I'm just like, there's no way Brad Pitt is this fast. I'm sure sorry, understand. there's no way. This middle age suburban dad is faster than these zombies. But who, you know what? I, I, I gotta go back and watch I Am Legend because I recall those, those zombie slash They're pretty quick being pretty damn fast. They I don't know what it was about World War Z that made everyone like, yo, that's the, now a descriptive uh, uh, example we can go to towards zombies. Maybe it was seeing them on such in bulk. Well, not because the thing is, too, it's like, with zombies, the way they've made them is they are supposedly lose like all mental instincts, so it's just primal. Mm -hmm. So when you're at that point, your thought process of running is out of the window. So like if you think about like you losing your breath and you feel yourself starting to slow down, your mental don't think about that. So mm -hmm. it's just looking to feed. So all of that stuff, pain, uh, any of that is gone out the window. So now you just got mm -hmm. a lethal eating machine that's just going to run and can't stop. Nope. I don't want no parts. I don't want no parts. That's why so, I like mine slow. Was I supposed to find some type of chain breaker or? Yeah, there for sure was a, uh, what are those called? Clamps? <sighs> Damn it. It's a lot of, uh, a lot of zombies outside. And you got, all you got is a handgun. Well, in true Patrick Cloud fashion. Yeah, look, it's tradition. It's tradition. I would love to pass the sticks to Will. Um, I showed you where to go, nigga. But you don't <laughs> got that many bullets and you just got a lot of guidance. I showed you by example where to go. Now you're just gonna have to show us by skill how to execute, you feel me? So- uh, You gonna, gonna do this to me while I'm on the beach? While you are on the beach. Okay, anybody who watches Arcade Tokens, I like to pass the sticks at interesting times. You know what I mean? Keep my keep my co-hosts on their on their toes. Oh, is that what you call them? Mm -hmm. I want to make sure you guys are sharp. If I'm just starting you guys level one, you know what I mean? You guys are just going to be like to leave us in the shits. Before no ammo, I, no health, here. not enough equipment. That's real that life. is Pat's go-to move. That's real let, life. Let me tell y'all what this what this person here, I'm not going to call him out his name. I'm not going to disrespect him because he's my friend. But okay. let me tell you what this guy here did. We are playing Resident Evil 2. Mm -hmm. There's a part in Resident Evil 2 where you have to not only go into a parking garage, a underground parking garage. This and if they true. aren't creepy already in regular life, during the zombie apocalypse, you couldn't pay me to go down there. This man passed me the controller with no ammo, not only no ammo, he ran through this parking lot getting chased by zombies and wound up finding a place to hide and find some stuff. And now I have to run back through this parking lot with these zombies and not get bit. That's facts. true, that all happened, that all happened. This is all facts. Mm -hmm. But here's the thing, think about how much stronger Will is for going through that and how much more capable and ready he is for the bullshit that I'm about to put him through right now. <laughs> Think about it. As long as I stay consistent, the bullshit I put you through should make you better. Listen, Pat, as great as, as you try to break it down, brother, it's still bullshit that mm -hmm. you throw us to the wolves in those situations, dog. 
you get video you game it. wolves for but somehow some different. reason you always end up i'm not gonna say it's always an easy task uh send it again hold on it's never the most easiest of tasks that you go through yourself you you're challenged in video games for sure but when it gets <laughs> to a certain point pat just be like and you're next yeah like it literally just be that like okay here you and- go all right, well, just to take some of the heat off of me right now, I'm going to transition into some promo for some all dev gaming shows that Go we have it. coming on. Uh, gaming wise, um, we have a show called Games That Define Us. Yeah. And uh, we've been playing, I think we did like two or three episodes so far. And we pretty much, we each bring a game to the, t- the, to the table to talk about and discuss and see if each other, uh, if we played it back in the day or if, um, you know, just any memories that were associated with that. So while Kadeem is kind of setting, uh, setting Will up, I think we might as well play a little mini version. Uh, Cleo, you've always been team PlayStation. You dipped into Nintendo here and there, but you never yeah. really stuck to it, right? Yeah. So it, it'd be safe to say that most games on PlayStation or PlayStation 2, you were probably like messing with. Okay. I was in, yeah. I wanted to know if anybody here has played Shadow of the Colossus. That was a game that came out during, I want to say the PS3 era. Okay. And it was PS2. I remember I seeing that I was ps screenshots. Like, yeah, that was PS2's like like game where they're like, look at how amazing the new graphics are. It was yeah. like their first one of the first ones. It's not a game I jumped on immediately. I want to say I played two, maybe maybe about two hours of it at this place called Game Mania that used to be down the street from me and Kadeem's house. Okay. So we used to play it, and I really didn't jump on it. I didn't. But PS2 game-wise, PS2 console-wise, there were a couple games that helped define me as a gamer. Uh, okay. NBA Street, NBA Street Volume 2, NFL Street, NFL Street Volume 2. Final Fantasy X, Def Jam, Def Jam Vendetta, Kingdom Hearts 1, and Kingdom Hearts 2 are for sure my go-to PS2 games. So I just want to talk about the first thing you said. NBA Street Volume 2. Let's talk about it. And how, damn, like, what was it about that game? I feel like, First of all, I don't know why sports games don't leave their traditional arenas more. You know what I mean? Like, mm-hmm. it's it seems like every Madden in NBA 2K, it's like just like how it is. But this game was literally like cartoon version yeah. on the street. Like, it was like super like crazy, like NBA Jam kind of reminiscent. Like, yeah. that game and the soundtrack were yeah. just tag team, just literally like Goku Vegeta style. Yeah. Uh, now that that game was super dope and i just knew because we did uh we do an event back um in the olden days when you can go outside and meet together uh we used to do this event called uh tokens damn it's so long ago what the hell was it called joysticks Joysticks and drinks joysticks and drinks drinks. (laughs) back in the olden times and um yeah we we um were just playing retro games but then uh kadeem did you put this on did you put uh, an NBA Street on? I did. I did yes. put an uh, NBA Street Volume Two on, and uh, yeah, the reaction it was beautiful. we got. Beautiful, beautiful. Zordon yeah. threw NBA Street on, and just that in, that menu music, that that Pete Rock and CL Smooth drop, and just everybody ran over and started cheering. And it's crazy because like we didn't know each other as kids. Like this was all stuff that we did individually within our culture, but NBA Street Volume 2 was that shit, yeah, man. man. That shit was crazy. So wait, Will, are you playing? I am playing. Will yeah. is playing Resident Evil. Look, everyone show the remote sticks. controllers. Everyone, where no one is touching the con. Look, he's way at his house playing the video game, but we're going to beat this game together for certain. Wait, he just stopped. Wait, can, I get, also. can I get this? <laughs> you said what? It looks like you have to have no, a lock that's a, pick that's to a unlock case that. for you to store stuff. That's not for you to get stuff. That's all the stuff you already have. Will, quick hint. They did say that the bolt cutters to get the shotgun are back at the donut shop. So you might want to figure out how to get back there. Well, again, I got to go back somewhere. Yeah, man. Go back to that donut shop. Get you some donuts. NBA I- Street Volume 2, bro. Let's look at how they even set it up. NBA yeah, Street Volume just, 1. Hey, but just to add to that, also, too, NBA Street Volume 1 was the first time you could actually play as Michael Jordan in a basketball game. Yes. 
Yes, it was. Wow. Yes, this is was. true. Because he wasn't in NBA Jam. He, he was, was hiding that license, case. He wasn't playing that game. Unless you were cutting him a crazy check, you weren't getting the Michael Jordan branding on any video game. It was the same for Mike Tyson, right? Uh, Tyson had his own video game. Tyson, he had uh, Mike Tyson's punch out. Right, but he was he didn't appear in a lot of other games, did he? Not that I'm aware of, man. So it's something about that MJ. It's something about that that Michael name. When it gets famous, it just it just all of a sudden like nah, bro. Like nah, I'm too good for that. But NBA Street Volume Two, man, it was an incredible game. The soundtrack was amazing, of course. But even the the legends, when you could pick the old school versus the new school, you could put Shaq in a cartoon-esque video game mm -hmm. up against Wilt Chamberlain. You That's could great. put M Magic Johnson up against a Kobe Bryant. You could put Larry Bird up against a Allen Iverson or a Tim Duncan. It was crazy. Damn. It was so cool, man. The like, yo, I understand how many people are into 2K. You know, I, I get it. I understand why, you know, people love it so much. But listen, there was a reason why EA Sports had, of course, EA Sports, where you had Madden and NBA Live. But then they had to make a division of their company called EA Sports Big in order to like, yo, understand it's different. Really? We still be, yeah, because there was EA, yeah. EA Games, and then there was EA Big. And Big was the more uh, over-the-top dynamic of video games. That's where Def Jam and Def Jam Vendetta were. I mean, Def Jam Isn't Vendetta. that where SSX Tricky was? I believe yep. so, yeah. Uh, NFL Street, uh, yep. Blitz as well came back. So what was, what was the differentiation? It was basically to... You could you had an easier time getting the license if it was a big over exaggerated version of itself or what? I don't know about an easier license, but you knew as a fan of the video games, like I, true story, man, true that that's true story. Uh, it was right after Roll Bounce. I don't know how me and Kadeem ended up getting the EA game representatives contact. She sent us every EA game for the next two years, all of them. Yep. All, everything they licensed. So mm -hmm. from from the Tiger Woods golf game to the uh, Michael Vick covered EA uh, EA game to the Vince Carter EA game to um, boom, boom, of course all the Def Jam Def Jam Vendettas and even down to the James Bond video games. They sent us all of them. Oh, I don't know about what was the oh that's it that's it. No, no, but he, we he's, he's still kicking. We played all of them, man, and EA had such a grasp on the video game world. I think they still do. I think it's just harder for them to kind of maybe believe in going back out of the box, like mm. you said, because not too long ago, there was a um, a new version of kind of like an NBA Jam. It was called like 3v3, three three three, I think it was. Nice on dodge. Yeah, it was on, uh, it was NBA 2K, man. It was like Playground. It was called NBA Playground. Have you seen it, Pat, or Will? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I remember that. I do remember that. Yeah, so they tried to get back into that lane of the more kitty, but like yo, fun regardless, and it just didn't catch. Right. So maybe the time is gone, man. Maybe we enjoyed it as kids, but the newer generation is like, nah. I don't know. Give me that I break. feel like it needs a resurgence. Like it needs. We need to. We need to go back. Did you go to the donut shop, Will? Man, them cutters ain't in that damn donut shop. They said it was in the safe. They said it was in the back in the in safe. The safe. Yeah. Man. I did find a safe and I couldn't figure it out, so I just passed it. Sorry about that. Um, oh, of course. Of course he did. <laughs> <laughs> That's crazy. I do remember uh, hearing that EA Sports, boo, you know what I mean? And I feel like I had a lot of uh, games like that, but I didn't really think about what it was. And I guess it was just like maybe to separate the serious sports people from just like the ridiculous ones. And I'm, I'm not going to lie. The ridiculous games were hitting, though. Like SSX oh, yeah. Tricky yeah. was crazy. Like, I feel like we should even play SS Tricky on all dev gaming because Please. stuff where, where, like that. Where um, is a safe? Where is a safe at in this damn donut shop? This is the donut shop? Yes, He's in the donut the shop. Let's see what, look, there was somebody in the chat that said, yo, it's over there. So let's figure it out. If you're in the chat, if you played this game already, if you've already done the walkthrough, Please let Will know where he needs to go to find these damn bolt cutters so we can get our hands on the shotgun and start laying down some of these zombies in the middle of the street. Guys, I don't remember when we had the pleasure of playing Tony Hawk together. Was that during the quarantine or was that before? That we was during the, like the first and a right week before. and a half of this crap. But were we together or was that over yeah. Zoom? Yeah. That was together. Was together. That was final together. <sighs> okay. Ever since then, I have been having severe Tony Hawk withdrawals. I've been tr I tried to find it on the PlayStation Network. It is not on there. They only nope. have the Tony Hawk uh, 5. People are talking about it in the chat. Even if it's something that we can pass 
and do it one by one. I don't know if it's career mode or whatever skate. We gotta we gotta play Tony Hawk this week, man. I'm okay, having I got severe you. Hands down. skate withdrawals. Let's do it. Let's I'll, do I'll it. Let's it go don't ahead worry, and get man. it. I got you. Which All is right, which is sure. funny because the argument well it wasn't even really an argument, it was just more of opinion. Everyone played Tony Hawk Pro Skaters one and two. No one picked Tony Hawk. Why? Yeah, no one ever no one ever picked Tony Hawk. Um, I, I feel like he was the curator of the game. You know what I mean? He was the curator, but it, in terms of like what you could do with Tony Hawk, okay, let's let's just get it out the way. Vert skating is not that cool. Talk about it. I just I yeah, always liked I always like street flat. You know what I mean? Grinding jumps, all that stuff. But just the if you don't know what vert skating. That's when you do the half pipe, full yeah. pipes, and you're kind of just going up and down. That was super dope when the skateboard was fucking first invented. I'm not even gonna lie, but <laughs> ever since Rodney Mullen and, and people like that, oh, it's just Chad like, Muska. That's, that's the stuff that I wanna do. As somebody who does not have that much interest in skateboarding, you kind of have to appeal to like the coolest version of skateboarding, you know what yeah. I mean? That's why if you have a BMX game, you better be going through forests and amazing places because you just do BMX straight up how it is on like dirt rot roads, you'll only get the BMX enthusiasts, you know? So that's just how, why I believe that, uh, oh, I guess that's where they are. Um, Tony oh. Hawk was just the vert skater. The 900 was tight, it was impressive, but it wasn't something that I wanted to keep doing myself if the Christ Air was available. You know what I'm saying? That's the <laughs> Christ Air. Uh, Will, to give you a hint, the chat is letting you know the bolt cutters are actually no longer in the donut shop no longer what changed they changed it from the demo it, oh, they're the demo. saying well no where's the safe it's upstairs but what's the combination uh they said the combination is in the billards room of another place but they said it's the bow cutters at the repair shop first of all jay kush just brought it all the way back to a there's game. a rate what there is a razor scooter game that's fire you oh never yeah this. i remember hey, yo no i remember never this. That game. What is it called? Oh my god! I played that with my cousin. Stress. Look at the stress on their faces, yo! What is this Bro. called? No, because you thought I it was gonna that be with my cousins. and it wasn't. And the name of their tricks were ridiculous. Bro, it worked. It played it like really Tony Hawk, though. Come it on, it played just it like Tony Hawk. Impossible. I'm not saying it was as good, but I'm just saying it played similarly to like linking together stuff, grinding on everything, being ridiculous, like. It was dope, and I don't remember what it's called. I guess it was called the Razor, um, the Razor, and, and that's PS One. I didn't know that was a PlayStation One. I thought that was PS Two. The Razor, yo, okay, let, let, let's 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 figure this out. Razor Freestyle oh, Scooter. Y'all want me to pull it up? It was called Razor Freestyle Scooter. That's what people are saying. If you yeah. can, if you want to, you can pull it up, but. I don't recall Razor. I don't recall a video game for it. Yeah, let's but let's I, take a break. I I don't know where these bolt cutters are, but let's take a find break it. from. Uh, Resident Evil and just let's just look up a few of these old games because the chat is going crazy in terms I of- I never uh, played it. Yo, you two played it and people in this chat are like, yo, it was fire. Bro, it was. It was like you were not expecting that game to be that fire. Oh, come it on. No, Midnight no, 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 no. Club <laughs> 2? Midnight Club? Did y'all get in on Midnight Club? Oh, man, I got on, on Midnight, Midnight Club, Club two, Dub Edition. Dub Edition and 2. Yes. I was on 2 as well. Los Angeles and Tokyo was lit. Tokyo was lit. Tokyo was fucking lit. Shout out to everyone who took a Razor scooter to the shin. I've been Oof. one of those victims. And That's let me tell worst. you something. It hurts. Unless you grew up doing Muay Thai in Thailand, you, that will hurt the biggest of people. Oh, a yes. Razor scooter wow. to the shin. Is that really it? Yep. Y'all played this? Bro, no, I'm bro, I'm telling I don't you. remember this character, but I do I remember, remember this, the, this, this course. See how it plays just like Tony Hawk though? Yeah, I see it. Really fire, bro. This game was so Was there awesome. any um was there any um sequels to this? Cause I, I feel like I remember this, but I also feel like I remember uh wasn't it more realistic? Uh, 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 yeah, this seems like a little Fortnite-y. Unless this is a secret character or something. I think this may have been uh, a let secret me let me show what else I got. I do this remember collecting crazy. the uh the uh the wheels though. Uh but between Tony Hawk. I think we should play SSX. Okay. SSX Tricky. I think should be the, the the video we pull um pull up after the scooters. Yo, um, I got I got a request. You know, since up? 
my game choices don't be making it up here as if y'all go to the arcade tokens y'all can find out about um, the campaign these two got for me to not play fight night because I'm undefeated yeah I'm right no, no, no 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 this is good this is good will I, this is good right, okay right. so within the arcade tokens will thinks that we are just like con- I don't know conspiring against him to not play fight night now it is my personal opinion that nobody or they mama wants to see no damn fight night so if you guys showed it if there's over a thousand people in here if anybody wants to see anybody play some damn fight night just let us know and we'll play it but it is under my assumption that nobody wants to see no damn fight night, okay? We can play <laughs> Smash Brothers, Tekken, Street Fighter, Mortal play Kombat, anything. Soul Calibur, Dragon Ball Fighters. Nigga, we can literally fireball. Play anything else. But he just wants to beat people's ass in fight night. Here we listen, go. Listen, listen. Oh my God, I wish I could hear the music for this. The is this fight, what is listen, this? do you, if y'all see the comments right now, thank you. The people have spoken. You, see, you see that most night. of the people are right now are saying, what the hell is fight night? You see no, what I'm looking at right now. That. Fight night, let it happen. They Stop. Want to I'm, not so see, I'm not seeing anybody say yes. Okay, a couple yes fight nights, but most people are saying no. No, I'm not messing with it, bro. I don't think it's Look a real thing. Look at this, play fight night. It's not a real thing. Fight night, go hard. I want to see fight night. Fight it night don't. champions. It don't. Is this fight really night. XSX fight. tricky? Yeah, SSX. Tri- Listen, I feel this like everything tricky. in my mind is just way more. Like I, I feel like I remember everything better than what what it looks like. This doesn't. This this does look like some PS one, PS two shit. Yeah. But this was my jam. This was great. This I love this game. Lit. I still kind of like how it looks. It just doesn't look as. Realistic as I remember in my yeah. mind, but I feel like it's, it's just because really I've been biased. playing PS4 for so long. But fam, the soundtrack for this, it was like a mix of like like it was like a radio with like a DJ playing like run DMC and like all these yep. EDM songs. I remember downloading like all these random like do 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 and I was just listening to that in my fucking <laughs> in my car like a Back weirdo. when you had LimeWire and Napster. <laughs> <Yep>. <laughs> Yo, and they trust ridiculous on here. Huh? <laughs> I said that tricks were ridiculous on here too, because you were doing like skateboard moves. Oh, a nigga snowboard. did the worm in the air. A nigga yeah. literally did the fucking worm. What it was, it was like guy. the white boy with the bushy afro when it came out on PS2, uh, I think. That yeah, was, uh, yeah, Eddie. No, no, no. Yeah. No, 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 no. What was his name? It was like he was like the 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 white version of uh, Doctor J on uh, NBA Street Two. He was. Oh, they could have wow. used the same figure. That the is funny. That's crazy. They literally could have used the same model for that. But this game was damn. This game was lit. Man, you know what? Um, I never played I Jet bring? Set Radio. There's a couple people saying uh Jet Me Set Radio. Neither. I never played Jet I Set Radio, but I know it's it's up there for people. It, like Sega, when they came out with the Dream the Dreamcast, that was for sure like one of their flagship games to roll out. Okay, oh, so Eddie, it? it was Eddie. Was okay, it? for sure. Yeah. So I, I don't know why I, I was thinking Eddie was black from Tekken, I guess. Right, that's um, right. But DSTN07 knew he had a good pick because I, I, I've been meaning to say it for a couple times and he, he put it in a, uh, a few times. So thank you for that, for reminding me. Soul Reaver, The Legend of Cain. Did you guys ever get into that? I Listen, played Soul Reaver. I played the first one. Uh-huh. Now to get past like level three, and I was like, I'm done. I threw, I threw the disc. Man, I was like, I'm done. That is really a tough game. That yeah, man. Game, Cleo, it's you're hard. better. You're it. better at gaming than me, though. I beat no, that game. I got so frustrated with Soul Reaver. Kadeem can atone for it. I was pissed yeah. at that. What about game. two? Man. What about Soul Reaver two? Was it the Legacy of Kane? Yeah. Yeah. Nope. Didn't Soul get. To, didn't, yeah, it came out on the PS2. Like I have. I didn't get to it. it. It's crazy how much that. my younger self puts me to shame in terms of gaming. Like I be playing some stuff that I legitimately know that I was going through when I was a kid. At, like at this age, and I'm like, bro, was I a pro gamer? Like, what? Well, this is impossible. <laughs> Either I'm trash right now, which is very likely, or I was just that much better. And it was just because I be I was putting in the hours back then. But damn. Lil Pat. Yeah. Lil Pat there, was on some shit. There's a celebrity deathmatch video game? Yeah. yeah okay. I did not know that. Someone just says a celebrity deathmatch game on the GameCube. I never played this. Look at this shit this dude's doing. 
There was yeah, no I just saw what you said. That man just gave himself a misty guillotine. Is what that move was called, Pat. Yes, misty guillotine. That misty was. Gu- it, uh, that this was gross. the crazy guy. What was his name? I want to say Brian, but I know that's also Tekken. Yo, another game I think we should play is one of my favorites, Jet Moto. Jet Moto. Jet Moto was. What is that? I love. It's, it's a racing game. You're basically on these like. Uh, high tech ass jet skis going through like some dope ass. Oh, love. that sounds cool. I remember Jet Moto. Jet Moto was Jet Moto. Shit. If we can find Jet Moto to play, y'all please let me know. Hey, we gotta we gotta dip back into. I know that you know Cleo was oh, not yeah. impressed by Sonic Adventure the first time, but we gotta dip back into the world of Dreamcast. We gotta play both Sonic Adventures and we have to play Power Stone. Power Stone was hey, my jam. I like Power Stone. I think I like Power Stone hey, too. Bro, I love Power. I, I literally just bought a Dreamcast just for that, Pat. I got four controllers and everything, bro. I got it. You bought ready. it what? Re- what recently or when it came out? Like literally, like last month. Yeah. Oh it. shit! You yeah. have Power Stone? Yeah, like, or maybe about? I have Power Stone as well. Power Stone one and two. That's crazy. I have Power Stone too. I have I have it on a uh, Dreamcast. I want to say I still yeah. have like a functioning Dreamcast, man. We definitely gotta we gotta uh, break that out because Power Stone. Power Stone changed some shit. I'm surprised there isn't more fighting games like that. Right. I'm surprised they haven't. There, there's no talks of remaking Power Stone. Like, I think Power Stone would be a great Star remake, if, especially if you yeah, shape right? it. If I you shape that, it like Star, uh, Capcom like Street has it. Capcom owns that. Yeah, owns that game too. It it's weird that they none of those characters were in any Cap- Marvel versus Capcom or anything. Like, no, they're they, they were just shelved. Yeah, the whole series was shelf, apparently. Guys, I am fully ready to play Wave Race 64. Wow. I got that shit at the crib. Oh, yeah. If anybody want to smoke with a jet ski, come, Wave race? come knocking at my door. I was out here hey, trying to Pat, get the dolphin, get never the dolphin, could get though. it. Did, did you not. ever get it? No. Man. All right. Man, listen, it's hard. Pat, you could, you could play that. When y'all ready to come see me on Rush 2049, you let me know. Rush 2049. What is that? They don't know about Rush 2049. What is up. that? Rush. That's that N64. That's I was that about to say, was this Atari, Will? Because nah, we, we didn't is, have one. This is this Gran Turismo before Gran Turismo. That's not a, a racing great game. Comparison. I'm just letting you know. Hey, GameSpot Wait. gave it an 8 out of 10. Okay, that's pretty good. Rush did, was great. Did, did anybody get in on the uh, crazy taxi phase? Yeah, nope. I did play yeah. Crazy Taxi. I did. Yeah. It, what it, about um the Simpsons version, Hit and Run? Hit and run. No, I, I didn't play that. Called. I think it was called Hit that and was, Run. That was that was dope. I always thought that that was. Yeah, awesome. Need for Speed or Burnout is for sure like the go-to game for me because when you can, burnout, I think it's bro. Burnout when you can crash another car and it goes in slow mo and you get points for that. Yeah, like burnout was so do. fire. Yeah. We have House of the Dead. Uh, we have it. all of them, really. I think Zordon has all those loaded up. You could uh, yes, jump on over to Arcade Tokens and uh, ch- Shaolin it's Monks. Holy Justin God. Smith just made my day. What do you say? One. Okay, I'm. You know what? I'm even pulling up to the next games that shaped us with this game. Oh, Ape Escape. Oh, hey. holy hey. shit. Ape Escape. That game is so fun. Hell yeah. There was, wait, there was two, right? Yes. Yeah. Ape and Ape Escape. Two that I cared about. I, there yeah. might have been more, but please pull up Ape Escape because Ape Escape was everything. Your whole all thing was just trying to like catch them with a net, right? They all Catching had little blinking monkeys, lights on but their you forehead. But you had different, le- you had different weapons that were like futuristic, like a lightsaber See or it? like something that could like, shoot long range, like just like different tools to get them. And all of them were specific to a mission. So you would have a mission that's like, go get the fucking thug uh, monkey that's put like patrolling this little area. And you have to do like something specific to knock him out and then catch him. But just like a dumb premise like that, but you were also traveling through time. So you had to like catch monkeys where there was dinosaurs. You had to catch monkeys, you know, in the in the Roman times. And they all had like stupid little outfits on and personalities. It was lit. That game was so dumb. <laughs> uh, Ape Escape was my shit though. Jesus. Someone bought a Fatal Frame and I remember that video game. I think it's like, a, it's, it's, it's a murder mystery video game it's that a, requires okay. you to take pictures of yep, like, yes. You yeah. take pictures of like a murder scene and try to figure it out. I remember Fatal Frame. That's a good one. I forgot. Yeah. Oh, I totally forgot about that game. Yeah, I got that whole collection too. There's Ooh, more than Diamond, one. Yeah, Diamond like Pondexter. Damn. 
That's what's up. Max Payne, that whole series was fire. Fire. I played that game on a, on a PC before I played on any other console. I loved it. Really? Yo, Donkey yeah. Kong 64 was, was hard, bro. Up there. And Diddy Kong, too. Like, people be you played Diddy that, Kong Cleo? Game. I thought that wasn't your swag on what? 64. Just like the cartoony shit. No, uh, for, look. Donkey Kong, I want to say the Super Nintendo one. Donkey Kong Country. Country mm-hmm. is the one I played. Yeah, bro, that I for sure played that one because the right when you could jump on top of the rhino yeah. and run through the level and start offing people, I love that. One. But you played you played the yellow cartridge Donkey Kong sixty four. Kadeem for sure played hey, it. Pat, I literally got ninety nine point nine percent in that game. I couldn't find two bananas on one level. <laughs> what the two. fuck couldn't you find? I bro, I swear to I beat that game front to back every except finding these two bananas on one level. I didn't know where the hell they went. I couldn't find them. But I swear, every every level I had, all the coins, all the bananas. That game was fun, man. It was man, silly as hell, but it was fun. Ball, bro. Everything. That, I love how they, they gave Donkey Kong like an open world uh, Super Mario 64. Like, Loki, he was more deserving of that than Banjo, but I'm happy that Banjo happened. Yeah. I bet you are. <laughs> oh, uh, every day. <laughs> I just saw one that was fire. Oh. Um, WWE No Mercy is definitely happening in games that shaped us. Yeah, that was oh lit. SmackDown, all the SmackDown. Oh Here SmackDown on PlayStation One, bro. Oh Spank God, you. come on, come on. Um, Sly Cooper, I was actually a huge fan of that. Metal Slug, I play that game till today. Metal yeah, Slug is probably one of the best side scrolling shooters. Metal Slug, man. Yeah. Uh, Twisted been... Metal, Twisted Metal is also oh, one of the best. Yes. yes. We Hell have too yeah. much to do, man. We just no, have way re- too much. To isn't do. that crazy? Like, though, we've played a lot of video games on arcade tokens. We're gonna probably gonna bring be bringing a lot of them over to all deaf gaming. But there's right. so many games we have not tapped into yet. It's insane, and we played them as a, as kids. But it's like we can always go back into this stuff. And there's just so much new stuff coming out too. You know what I mean? Like Q4 yeah. is about to just be way too much. We just got Resident Evil Three. We're about to get uh, Final Fantasy Seven. It's just a lot going on. Roller Coaster Tycoon. I mean, honestly, shout out eh. to that too. That was a, that was an addicting game. Never played game. it. Never played Roller Coaster that. Tycoon was a fun. That you was just DC. build a, a theme yeah, park, right? Build like a theme city, park, but it is of. it's it's addicting because yeah. you. Yo, hold on, Kelvin Robinson brought up a game like i know no one played this but this game for me was dope okay army men uh we nope. played army men we played army, army men. men was the shit i, 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 rented, that, I rented that on the n64 i remember that game bro yo army it, it men, was like, hard. army men was hard bro like you literally played as little army piece so it was like literally take the, the army pieces from toy story and they uh-huh. got a video game what yeah. was it like was it a side scroller or something nah yeah it was- no, no, not no, it was really. More like behind, the, like over the head, like third person type of uh, third, like third person. So you kind of just saw the army men walking around from behind them. Yeah. Hmm. Okay. Yeah. I think I remember those uh commercials. I definitely love the whole Ratchet and Clank series. That game is that game is just ridiculous, and I think it's beautiful. Also, um, ready to rumble. We got. We we will be bringing that over to all Def Gaming since you guys want to see that. Ready to guys. Rumble. I lost this game. I still don't know how I lost it because of how much I loved it. Kadeem, if you can get this for me, we have to play it immediately. What is Pokemon it? Snap. Oh, oh, I have it. Oh, yeah. One of I have the it right now. Yes. Amazing Pokemon games. Snap. Okay. Listen. I have it right now. We've Listen. talked about this already. We've yeah. talked about that, but I'm not sure if anyone remembers that there was a rumor out there that before we ever got Meryl, which was the blue Pikachu, blue Pikachu the water. Yeah. Yes. There was a rumor that you could see that that Pokemon in Pokemon Snap. You no, no way. Apple, you had to throw an apple at Pikachu before you got into the water levels cave. And me and Kadeem. Uh-uh. I don't think spent, that's true. It's not true, but we spent two days. Yeah, spent days. <laughs> so, as Shane that talk, game wasn't even... I don't even think that character exists when that game No, was, it no. didn't. No, 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 no. Time out. The character did. didn't exist in video game. It existed in Japan in yeah. their magazine. So it was called Pika uh, Blue in Japan. So uh, no one knew that it would go on to become Meryl. But bro, we spent at least a weekend trying to get wow. this unlock. Oh my That's crazy. God. Oh yeah. Oh, That's speaking of Pokemon though, you know we gotta bring the game in. And I know people gonna, gonna look at us crazy, but believe me, everyone, including the gaming squad, including the regular squad is gonna wanna play these. The Pokemon Stadium mini games. Mini games. Yeah. Bring them over. 
Let's we do got it. to bring it on. But you know what? That game is so fun. We got to wait till after this damn quarantine, man. It wouldn't be the same. I don't know if I could play these mini games with you guys over this. <laughs> no, 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 no. no. Got to be live with first. you. But two, but two other games I got to throw out, of course, uh, people keep throwing it out, uh, uh, Xbox staple, which is Left 4 Dead. Left 4 Dead is one of them games you give a pass for it being on Xbox. You give <laughs> but it a pass. Um, this is uh this is pretty much what all deaf gaming will be, you know. I mean, at least during this quarantine, but even after the quarantine, this is gonna be the essence of what all deaf gaming is, you know what I mean? Just gaming, chat, you know, reminiscing, either if it, whether it's us talking about it and reviewing footage, us playing, us giving each other trivia, us inviting our friends in who are also into gaming. This is pretty much the essence of what all deaf gaming is. So Make sure you guys go over and subscribe to All Def Gaming, the channel. Make sure you subscribe to Arcade Tokens, the channel. And uh, this is this is just fun. You know what I mean? It's so cool that we're actually able to have a lane for this on All Def. Uh, we've been carving out slowly, uh, you know, um, like stuff like you trash fam on the channel just to see and gauge if you guys were into gaming and you guys reacted the way you did. So you guys are getting your own, your, your own vertical. Uh, so make sure you guys, you know, turn on the notifications. Make sure that you're you're up to date on everything that we're doing because just within the arcade tokens alone, we have a full slate of programming that we have planned, not let alone all the stuff that everybody else is going to contribute. So it's crazy that this many of you guys are still around just even if, though it's been, uh, what has it been like an hour and a half almost? Almost. Yeah. Yeah, man. We've been consistent with over a thousand people within this stream. And we want to thank all of y'all for being in here with us throwing in y'all opinions, mm -hmm. conversing with one another in the chat. You know, this is what this gaming community is all about. It's a culture, it's a community. And we just, you know, wanted to give y'all a staple that y'all can come and have a safe place to be the gamer that you are. Yeah, yeah. man. And be on the lookout for everything we're gonna do in the in, in this upcoming time, man. We, we might just have an all dev gaming tournament where we bring in some, of fam some familiar faces who you guys know who are also into gaming. And who knows, we may do it through uh, Call of Duty, we may do it through Smash Brothers, we may do it through Mortal Kombat, Street Fighter, Tekken, who knows? And then somewhere night, at the end of the tournament will be the all deaf gaming champion. I can't wait. We'll get a belt made specifically, right? And we'll have the all deaf gaming logo on it. It's going to be really great. Ooh, so make sure you guys stay I tuned in that. for it. I yeah. love all that. And you guys are having, you guys, I mean, I'm just looking at the chat, like the suggestions that y'all are like, I could tell that y'all are going to like what we have coming up because the suggestions that you guys have been dropping are fire. And yeah. I kind of want to, I'm just excited to play all these games. So, you know, make sure that you guys, you know, are, are constantly engaging, letting us know what you want us to play. And we will check those out. We got, you know, Zordon, who pretty much can get any game uh, possible. So, yeah. Uh, yeah, just just tap in. We uh, Right now, the schedule is uh, Monday. We're going to start the podcast, which will be kind of similar to how we've been talking ever since we stopped gameplay. Every Friday will be a Let's Play just like this. We'll be playing along with you guys at whatever title, you know, just either it's reminiscent or something brand new like today. And then Saturdays, uh, what, what, what were we planning on Saturdays? Is that the- uh, Arcade Tokens Podcast. That's the podcast? Okay, so, yes. oh, and Monday is um, Games That Shaped Us. Yep. So basically we'll be bringing two games each to talk about. We'll be reminiscing kind of like what we've been doing. Fridays are Let's Play, and then uh, Saturdays will be the podcast. But this Saturday, we will be doing the All Def Con. That will be from uh, 9 a.m. PST all the way to 7 p.m. PST. So make sure you guys uh, go to alldefcon.com uh, to get your tickets. Um, it's only $1, and all proceeds are going to go to families that are affected by COVID-19. Yeah. Um, so yeah, thanks for uh, thanks for hanging out with us, guys. This was a this was dope. <laughs> Uh, any uh, last minute things you guys want to say before signing off? Uh, happy gaming. Uh, keep it true. And like we said, check out Arcade Tokens. And got so much coming for y'all, man. Yeah, make sure you guys stay tuned in and locked into All Dev Gaming. Come and check us out on the Arcade Tokens page as well to see a whole backlog of all the video games we've already touched on. Uh, make sure you follow us all individually. Will Farrell, Patrick Cloud, Cleo Thomas. Make sure you check on Cathadius on social media as well, aka Zordon, who's helping us bring all of this stuff to life. Yeah. Uh, man, and we can't wait to keep continue to bring you guys some great games and some great content during this time. Please stay healthy. Please stay safe. Uh, wash your hands. Wash your ass. Check on your family members. Uh, wear a mask. 
Pat has one. Will Will has a G- Gemini Man's mask. Gemini Man shirt. <laughs> I can't grab it right now because it's over there. It's but gonna it's, be it's, all right, man. It's blessed by Will Smith and it's keeping me safe. <laughs> For sure, guys. All right, so yeah, make sure you guys subscribe, and uh, we will see you next time.